Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. And so we are halfway through January already which is just absolutely crazy to think about. However, January is really known for being one of the worst months of the year just because we're getting over that festive break but also we're trying to just get by and you know just like get through the month as quickly as possible to kind of be one step closer to spring. And in January, we can feel so overwhelmed by all of the different goals and different achievements that everyone around us seems to be doing, eating healthy, working out, having a healthier mind, setting goals, setting, you know, aspirations and all of those different, different things, which is, yeah, is incredible. But yeah, we can also feel that pressure to kind of match that or be on that same level when, you know, it's absolutely fine that most of us are not on that same level and we're just wanting to slowly kind of get the gears moving you know what I mean I'm doing that <laughs> and that is something that's really inspired today's video I wanted to break down a selection of products a selection of new products that I've really just kind of been those comfort skincare products where I just kind of you know felt like I wanted to indulge a little bit with my skin and that just make me feel good and i don't think i've mentioned any of these products before on any video so really exciting to kind of introduce you to new products and new recommendations from myself um that just you know make me feel good but also make my skin feel good as well so really you know the emphasis on is to really repair and strengthen the skin barrier and just calm as well you know we're in those winter environments at the minute and that can also get us feeling a bit bogged down a bit overwhelmed because our skin isn't behaving the way it should do. So first up is a absolutely fantastic, fantastic product that I just know that I'll be repurchasing and repurchasing again. And it's from a brand that I was kind of like a bit like umming and umming and arming against. Should I, you know, go and purchase some of their products or should I not? And then when I saw this browsing through the internet, um, this caught my attention immediately. And yes, first up is the Scientia Ceramide Skin Rescue. Um, this really did capture my attention because one, ceramide, but also the ingredients list is absolutely beautiful and just ingredients that I really, really look for in skincare products. This is a moisture balm. So this is kind of, you know, in that gloopiness as a balm would be. It is incredibly nourishing for the skin, but it has that lightweightness to it that really just sort of like melts into the skin. Well, not into the skin, but melts onto the skin. And I really do think it is absolutely perfect for all skin types. But yes, it is this beauty right here. I just think even aesthetically, why is that not focusing? There we are. Aesthetically, I just think this is a beautiful product anyway, and it just looks so, so nice. So it is in like that aluminium tube. I just love aluminium tubes anyway. I don't know why, but I just do. Um, I don't have many of them, but when I have them, I'm like, I can appreciate a good packaging. And of course, as the name suggests, it is loaded with ceramides. And a matter of fact, it is loaded with five different types of ceramides. So, which is quite uncommon because usually you see um, that three ceramide complex of the EOP, AP and NP. But yeah, there's two extra ceramides in here, which just make it absolutely perfect for your irritated, for your inflamed and your compromised skin barriers. But it says on the side of the packaging, because I just, I'm just, you know, a sucker for a really good marketing um, product. But yeah, so it has re replenishing, restorative, and all about strengthening the moisture barrier. Help comfort and rebuild stressed out skin with this protective ceramide rich skin rescue balm. A complex of five barrier boosting ceramides, hyaluronic acid, fatty acids, and lipids mimic the skin's natural building blocks to help restore and rebuild the skin barrier. Mother Nature brings a hober, prickly pear, aloe, and um, Calare Melon to help plump and smooth, improving elasticity whilst rebuilding the skin's protective layer. And I'll pop some texture overlays on screen here, but the texture is absolutely divine. Like I said before, it's gloopy, people lightweight, it nourishes the skin and really hydrates the skin as well. And it's priced at £24 for 65 mils. And I would really su suggest to use this, especially if you're early to combination, to use this in the evening times just for that insane nourishment and hydration kick in your routine. And then moving on, we have the We Come In Peace Probiotic Serum by Good Light. And again, Good Light is a relatively new brand to me. This is the first product I've tried from the brand, but so far this 
product spoke volumes to me because I am just obsessed with probiotics and just having a healthy microbiome which really really has improved the texture, the look and also the health health of my skin over the past year. Definitely something I would always recommend is look for probiotics in your skincare but also look to kind of take them orally in terms of tablets or vitamins etc. Really really fantastic to have. But yes, Good Light just speaks volumes to me in terms of marketing as well. Um, it's just absolutely divine, like it's so so pretty um, and it just, it just feels like this is a good brand, you know like it wants to do good for not just our skin but also for our planet. So a little bit about the marketing info, it says a microbiome enhancing serum that goes beyond with probiotics, blue tansy, bicuchiol, moringa seed and carrot seed oil. So yeah, this serum is a probiotic serum on steroids, really. <laughs> um, not really, not literally, but yeah, it's good. It really does have those fantastic ingredients like the bicuchiol in there, which is a anti-inflammatory and also a fantastic antioxidant ingredient. And of course it has that blue tansy in there, which again has its antioxidant, anti-inflammatory properties, but really great for, you know, your acne prone, your reactive skin type. And and it's got those oils that are really going to be nourishing for the skin as well but the texture of this is it doesn't give you a greasy look to the skin or anything like that it remains lightweight like really sort of fluid in consistency and it just absorbs so nicely onto the skin and for me personally I can't really smell anything from this product it doesn't have any added fragrance in there that's going to upset your skin and I just really have thoroughly enjoyed using this serum recently in my collection and then moving on we have a product from a brand that I just totally obsessed with and I've been in love with for some time now and that is the Indeed Labs Hydroloron Moisture Serum and what really took me by surprise from this product was the consistency so as it was saying it's a serum I was expecting that typical serum really lightweight really fluid kind of product however when I squirted it out of the tube onto my hands I was met with like this really thick gloopiness and I was really really surprised and, and pleasantly surprised as well because I just thought this is an absolute perfect product for the winter times of the year like it's going to hydrate your skin but it's also going to provide that nourishment as well and that really thickness that we all crave for for our skin don't get me wrong it still remains lightweight but it really is a thick serum and I think in the summertime this would be a fantastic sort of serum moisturizer step for super oily skin types. And in terms of ingredients list, it remains pretty simple. So it's got the likes of Propandil in there, which is a great for moisture retention in the skin and just keeping the moisture levels in check. It's got sodium hyaluronate, which is, you know, that magnet for moisture. So it's gonna draw the moisture to the skin. And it also it's got red marine algae extract in there, which is just enhancing the moisture retention even further and the product is reasonably priced as well and I just think it's a fantastic addition into our skincare collection our skincare routines It's a product that we just need and that we want it has those hydration benefits but it has that thickness to it that it's not going to leave our skin parched or you know just feeling like we need more. And the second to last product is the infamous Neot Modulating Glucosides. So when I first picked this up, it was way back in November during the Decium sale. I was really wanting to try this product. I heard so many great, fantastic reviews about it, um, but I never really found a place where it could sit in my routine or in my collection. Um, because I had so many other fantastic sort of like skin strengthening and you know reparative products um, in my collection so I took the plunge and I purchased it and I'm so glad I did because I just haven't looked back since and for me personally I haven't sort of compromised my skin barrier for a, a while now a good couple of years but I still have those reactive flare-ups now and again and I have you know breakouts and and just a bit of inflammation sometimes and this has been absolutely wonders especially because our skin becomes a lot more reactive a lot more irritated um, you know from those different environments of the cold outside to the really hot warm inside of the heating and and whatnot um, and it can 
become irritated and this has just been absolutely perfect at just calming down my skin but also providing that nourishment as well because it is incredible texture insane consistency that just works wonders and i probably reference this too if you were eating a really hot pepper like a chili or something like that and your mouth was on fire and you just drank a big gulp of milk and it just kind of like blanketed it like it just soothed it and calmed it and cooled it down you know those gaviscon adverts where the firemen are in the throat and they're kind of like spraying all the gaviscon liquid down the throat and cooling it down this is basically it in a nutshell in a bottle <laughs> and if you're thinking about milk right now then the texture and the consistency of this product is exactly that it remains like really thick really luxurious um, and creamy as well and it looks creamy as well which is really nice to have and the smell on the other hand is mm, like paint it smells like paint um so yeah definitely if you can get past the paint smell then this is a great product for you and in terms of ingredients list it's absolutely incredible it is loaded with soothing ingredients like when i say loaded it is absolutely jam-packed full of soothing ingredients ingredients that i cannot pronounce i'm not going to try to because i'm just going to embarrass myself but yeah trust me it is loaded with them and it's just going to instantly calm your skin down and really soothe that inflammation but not only that is loaded with amino acids as well so that's really going to fantastically hydrate the skin at the same time and if you didn't think that would top it it is loaded with antioxidants as well like absolutely loaded with them not as much as you would think the survival zero by neod but yeah it's got a handful of antioxidants in there that are really just going to be so so great at protecting your skin from oxidative stress and then speaking about antioxidant serums we have got a bougie bougie product and i'm saving this till last because you know i know it's not in everyone's price range and it's most certainly not in my price range however it was christmas time and i did it was the only thing i pretty much asked for for christmas and if i didn't get it it was absolutely fine but luckily i did and i'm so so incredibly grateful for that um but this is the Zellens T-Shot Urban Defense Serum. I'm just having a close up of this because it's definitely something to appreciate. That design and that packaging is legendary. I mean, I feel like it is a bit of a waste here, but yeah, it looks incredible. And it is incredible as well. And you could knock someone out with this. It is heavy but this product really did get my attention and really stood out to me in the zelens collection because well the marketing for one like the marketing marketing team at zelens really deserve all of the credit here um but the ingredients list is really special as well so the marketing info on here says a highly concentrated defense serum containing a proprietary blend of five different types of tea We've got green tea, matcha green tea, white tea, black tea, and kombucha fermented black tea. With synergic action in fighting effects of urban living, rich in potent antioxidants, this moisturizing serum helps to protect from daily environmental pollution and stressors that combat visible signs of premature skin aging caused by free radicals. And in terms of results, I can't say if it's changed my skin for the better or for the worst, really. I just know that when I'm using antioxidants, in my routine that they are getting my skin is getting the protection it needs and that is just all that matters for me personally and when I think about Neod's survival zero am I getting more protection for less money potentially yes I am however like I said if those skincare products just make you feel good and if you, you know, if you want to indulge, indulge. So that brings me nicely to the end of today's video. And I just really want to reiterate to you guys is that if you, you know, buy those skincare products and use those skincare products that really spark that enjoyment and that sense of self-care and just make you happy, then that is absolutely fine. No matter what the formulation, no matter what the brand, as long as the skincare makes you happy and you enjoy it so yeah i really do hope you've enjoyed this video as well and i will see you very very soon for a brand new one see you later bye bye